It's early January and I'm here in Erery starting 2024 with a solo adventure. I've got a few days of food with me and my home on my back. Jesus. I'm going to have a go at an 11 kilometre route that all being well will take me across two peaks and to a lake. It's going to be cold and I think some of it's going to be fairly steep, so this is going to be a challenge for me. But I'm taking you with me. Let's see if we can get high for this one. This is three nights alone in the wild. Hello, well done. It is day one. I am about one kilometer into my ascent up onto that ridge up there although we won't be getting up there tonight but that is the plan for the rest of the weekend i feel like i haven't gotten high in a while and i didn't get to get high on my last trip and i think we're gonna have some quite nice weather from tomorrow onwards it's a little bit rainy today which i'm glad of actually because oh i'm too hot yeah so i've come up from those woods down there and we're heading up in that direction pretty much just finding somewhere to pitch for night one today because we're in the deep dark parts of winter we've got about 16 hours of dark fast approaching I think it's probably about quarter past two at the moment and the sun's gonna set when is the sun gonna set half three or four or some sort of ungodly hour like that anyway so I'm in one of my favourite places this weekend. I'm in the Rinogs and I'm coming up from the south. Now this is unfamiliar territory for me. I'm quite familiar with Rinog Bauer, in fact, over in that direction. But for this weekend, I want to try and head up onto a ridge between the two highest peaks in the Rinogs, Dufris and Ikleta. Up there are around 750 meters i believe i think the ridge is up there but you can only see it at the moment and that's the destination there's also a lake on the other side of the ridge that i want to try and camp at tomorrow but i plan all this stuff out and so often nothing comes of it but i'm gonna give it a go so if i can do the route i have planned up onto the ridge over to the lake and a peak or two <laughs> That's about 11 kilometers, which doesn't sound like much, but in the winter with the short days, carrying 18 kilos, it's enough to keep me occupied. Oh, look. Oh, there's water here. Oh, look at the views. Let's stop here. Oh, amazing. I'm going to stick me hilly down. I won't bore you with it. I'll see you in a minute. There she is. That down there, thinking my neck. Oh, I was thinking about bringing my hubber and to this because it's lighter, well, over a kilo, I think. I really wanted to be lighter to get up high, but it's gonna be so cold this weekend. I want the safety and security, my lovely hilly, and it keeps me so much warmer in there as well. I was in a few degrees of heat, so it's worth the wait, Carrie. Right, I'm gonna go fill up on water over there. And then we'll get settled for the night. So that's day one. I'm pitched about 550 meters elevation and I've got a chicken curry for dinner. It's a bit windy, you know? I didn't bring my delta pegs either. So my tent might fly away. There is a bit of a steep section though that I'm a bit worried about tomorrow. So I've come up from this valley today and at the moment, pitched here, 550 or so meters, and that is a steep bit that I'm worried about for tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be okay, and that'll get me up onto this ridge. I'll be really proud of myself if I can get up a little steep bit without freaking out or sliding along on my butt. Actually, it's okay if I slide along my butt. I feel much better with a low center of gravity. We'll have to see what tomorrow brings. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Oh, 
morning. Oh, it's too bright. Hold up. That's better. What a beautiful morning it is. I didn't sleep very well last night, so I couldn't sleep till the early hours. And then I felt like I kept waking up every five minutes. But I feel all right this morning. I didn't feel great when I first woke up, but I don't know, I think you see this and get some sun on you and the fresh air sorts you right out right let's get out of here we are ready to go the summit difference is up there in the clouds looks pretty high let's do this thank you camping place I feel a bit nervy <laughs> yeah look i think i can see the summit can up there so that's 750 meters and we're at 550 at the moment 200 to go we're back on the path now heading up here and then up there so when we get around this corner we'll see what sort of steepness we're dealing with hopefully <sighs> yeah this is where the fun starts at let's see i think i've got to go up there which on here probably just looks like a gentle slope but it's really not I'm gonna try and go a different way. Yeah, let's get onto that rock fall and I'll have some hurt chest then. I'm quite pleased to find that I'm already halfway up the steep bit that I was worried about. So that's really good. I mean, if this is the extent of it, I think I'll be okay. So up here, let's do it. You've gotta be really careful on these because I don't know what's going to move and what's not and the last thing you want to do is disturb a big one and get your ankle trapped or something oh I just worked my knee <laughs> oh look there's a little path there oh Jesus Christ oh what's the f Last little steep bit, according to my map. This is the Cambrian Way. We're up on the ridge. So I think since it's only quarter past one, I'm gonna see if we can get up to the summit. I'll do few up there and then we'll come back down. And down there, I can't see at the minute, but Lindu Lian's down there. So we're gonna try and camp there tonight. Have ourselves a little lake camp. <sighs> Amazing. Oh yeah, look. There's Lindelian. We'll come back here later. Get down there for tonight. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Look at these views over there. Hello. Bit nippy up here. I love these. They're like fruit jellies. Look at all that sugar. Give me it. Mm above 700 meters getting there oh i'm above the clouds look not far to go it's hazing up we're getting up into the clouds now better just hold on to this here right so it's 10 past two 
nice time to start heading back down. Find somewhere lovely for tonight. Views up here are gorgeous. See the sea over there, it's Tremadoc Bay. And that little mister over there, Morphy. I was over there at the end of summer and I remember looking over here thinking, oh, that looks cool. And here we are. So, yeah, if you ever think something looks cool, just start making it happen, you know. Do one little thing that sets your life in a direction that you want it to go in. So that's where we're going. Got to figure out the best way down. See where's possible. So I've got to try and decide on a route down here. I think it's best to try and have a look from above. So you can see the lay of the land. I mean, there's a cliff there. So I want to go down here somewhere. Oh, my tummy's growling. But you just can't tell if it's going to be boggy or not. I think I'll just have to try it and see. Yeah, let's try and make a way, maybe like down there. Like that. Coming off the Cambrian Way now. Heading down. So that one up there, that's Ikeatha. And all being well. We're going to try and do that one tomorrow. That's the uh, biggest peak in the Rinox. Oh, look at that. I'm just checking the forecast because I don't know if I might lose reception down there. It's saying minus three now. The next few days, overnight. That's cold. <laughs> All right, we're getting closer and uh, it's a bit soggy, but no giant abysses from hell so far. We're nearly there. I don't want to get carried away though, because that's when I get all complacent and fall into a bog. Oh, there, yeah, I guess we're here. Hello, Lake. Right, here we are at Bindulin. 530 meters. I've pitched my tent and I'm gonna have myself a nice late lunch now. So I'm Marvin. Oh, what a beautiful pitch this is. It is so peaceful here. What are these wiggly worm patterns on the rock there? Anyone know? That's where we've come from today up there. Nice. super noodles oh, I'm gonna murder them and what else have I got in here it's two degrees already and it's not even four o'clock yet oh look at that sun ain't it gorgeous yeah it's gonna be really cold tonight we'll have a talk later about how to manage that and how to stay comfortably warm but for now I'm gonna eat getting the old hand warmer on the go because I'm gonna try the obligatory cold paddle. Stick that in there. Five degrees. That's pretty gnarly. So today we walked only 2.2 kilometers, all that huffing and puffing and only 2.2 kilometers. Right, so staying warm, um, I would say the most important thing is your sleeping bag and your sleeping mat. If they're gonna keep you warm in below freezing, they're not gonna be light and they're not gonna be cheap. That's just the way it is, unfortunately. And then my tent, I'm really glad I bought this one this weekend because I wasn't going to originally, but the temperature is much colder than the forecast initially said. So I'm glad to have this. I've seen this tent hold in up to five degrees of heat before compared to outside, which is totally amazing and makes such a difference. Hello, I want my dinner. Hand warmers, 
got one on the go in here. This is my lovely electronic hand warmer that will literally go all night. And food. If it's cold, you're going to want to eat a lot because when you're burning fuel, you're creating heat. So don't go short on food. You want it not just to keep warm, but for morale and comfort as well. Something nice to sit on because the ground is really cold and the ground just sucks heat right out of you. So create as many layers between yourself and the ground as possible. Water filters, if it's cold, if it's going to freeze, you want to keep them in the tent with you so that they don't freeze because once they freeze, you don't know if they're working anymore. It can break the internal structure of the filter and that's not good, so always protect your water filter. What a night it is out there. I can see the Milky Way with the naked eye and Orion's just rising and it looks like he's climbing over the hill over there. Oh look, it's all sparkly out here. Absolutely beautiful. It's so quiet. I'm hoping I'm going to sleep better tonight. And then hopefully we'll head back up onto the ridge tomorrow and up to Agatha up there. That'd be amazing. I think I should sleep better. The first night can be quiet, unsettled, because you can be a little bit nervous and a bit unsure of things, but by night two, I've usually settled into it nice, feel like, yeah, I've got this, I'm all right, I should be fine. I actually managed to get to sleep at a reasonable time last night. And it's minus 0.4 at the moment. Good morning world. It is Sunday. What a lovely long night that was. And after 16 hours of darkness, we've now got 8 hours of daylight. Yeah, look at this. See, it was in minus outside and it's 5.6 in here that's nuts no? i slept really nice and i'm so relieved I had at least eight or nine hours so i'm gonna try and get up to here today i think we've got enough time to do it um, we'll see how it goes oh, gorgeous morning Sun's gonna rise over there. That's such a nice sound. The crispiness. <laughs> oh, heck. The lake's frozen. Just beautiful. Look how flat my panna is. <laughs> Still delicious though. The visibility is not looking good up there at the moment, but I think along the ridge is a big dry stone wall all the way along, so I can't get lost. I'll just follow the wall. Yeah. Got my hiking clothes in my sleeping bag overnight, so that'll be lovely and warm to put on today. It is bitterly cold 
actually it's like freezing it's quite a stiff breeze but lovely and warm and it's weird because I actually get colder at home than I do out here oh hello sunshine circulation get out here get your blood pump in and of course you've got to take consideration to stay warm you've got the right gear and the right equipment but when you've got all that in place and you're moving around it's lovely it seems to work for me Okay, I'm back up on the ridge, 660 meters currently, and we're heading over there now to Ecletha. 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 If you know how to pronounce these, please do correct me. I do try and learn them, but everyone seems to say them differently. And as a southern fairy, I don't know, I kind of have to guess. But um, yeah, it's glorious up here. Absolutely beautiful. I've tucked my water filter in here next to my body so that won't freeze when I'm walking along. <sighs> what a day to be alive. So as far as I can see, we're just following this wall all the way up. I mean, it's a bit of a slog, but I reckon it'll be fine. And then we'll decide what to do for tonight. Look at these views over here. Right, I've been ploughing through this. Doesn't seem to be getting overly closer. So, I'm at 700 metres. So, this is the last push. 50 metres elevation to go. I'll see you up there. 740. Where's this summit? <sighs> Can't be far off, surely. Unless this is like a false summit and then we've got to go down and up again. <sighs> Who knows what's over this ridge here? Oh, epic view, so. Oh, is this the summit? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think it is. Oh, we made it. Yeah, look, I think that's the can. Oh, amazing. Oh, I can't believe we made it up here. This trip is going so to plan. Doesn't usually. <laughs> so this is 756 meters elevation. Oh, it's beautiful. Let me show you around up here. So that's where we started, down there in that valley and we've made our way up to the saddle there and then yesterday we went up to different summit there and then back down the saddle and down to the lake down there and then we've come back up followed this ridge all the way along up here so that's lovely Morfrey there the coast Rudolph back that's the Snowden range in the background yeah pretty gorgeous but I'm not hanging around up here. The wind chill is brutal. So what I'm gonna do is just start heading back down. If I've got daylight, I might see about getting that sleep bit done today. While I'm well rested and feeling good and on a roll. But I don't wanna rush it, of course, so we'll just see how it goes. It's so pretty. Oh, I've got cold fingers now. Beautiful. Ugly. Nature is not supposed to look like a freaking prison courtyard. Anyway, making good progress. Got to get up this fella now. Over to the saddle there, and then we can head back down. So we've got a good few hours of daylight left. I think I'll be able to get a ways down into the valley. But if not, it doesn't matter either. I love having my house on my back. Right, we're here at the saddle, so we're heading over there now. Down a steep bit. I might be doing some of this on my bum. Just so you know. Oh lordy. 
yeah, I'm glad I've got enough daylight to do this bit today and I can just relax tonight knowing it's done. And the thing is as well, although there isn't any like precipitation forecast, but at these temperatures, of course, it's likely to be snow. And uh, I wouldn't fancy this in the snow. I have got my ice axe and my ice spikes with me, but I'd still rather do it like this. So let's get it done and chill. Found a way past that rockfall bit today. Okay, that was better than the way I went up yesterday. I think that's the worst of it. <sighs> yeah, look, that's all right now. E okay, I'm just gonna head down and uh, see you down there, see where we end up. So I'm getting down lower now and I'm thinking I might head over there, just along the tree line. I think that'd be really beautiful. Let's see if we can get there. <sighs> Nearly there. Oh wow, look. Look at the water and the rock. Just in there. Oh, I can't reach it though. Like, I'm wondering. If it really reach. Oh, no, I can't reach it. Oh, what a shame. Hmm. Yeah. No, there is some further down. I remember from the way in. So we'll go there first, pull up, and then head to our little camp spot over there. Which is going to be gorgeous. Thank you, Stream. We're just about to lose the sunshine. Good night, sunshine. I'm pitching here. Cream crackers. Look at it. good to lay down. It is just about freezing, it's six o'clock and we're pitched here at this gorgeous place just above the tree line at 350 meters. It might be quite cold here tonight, we're lower but sometimes being lower is colder because all that cold air just sinks down into the valleys but we're not right in the valley so we might be all right here at 350. We have to see but I am braced and ready for another cold night be super cozy in here. So today has been a 6.5 kilometer walk and altogether with all the other days walking as well that will be about 11 kilometers in total. I'm really really pleased that I got to do my two summits and got to do the route that I planned because so often it doesn't happen so it's really nice when it does. So I'm all sorted in here I've just absolutely demolished the noodles so I'm feeling warm and cozy and uh, yeah, just looking forward to my last night out here. I just adore a clear, crisp winter sky. I'm so glad I came out here. This trip has been even more beautiful than I imagined it would be and everything that I needed it to be. Good morning, world. Three nights with only Orion for company. The sound of the wind. The air so cold that there's not even a bug or a beetle to make a brief acquaintance with. So very alone, but I feel reset. Renewed. Our time here is so brief. I 
and compared to these rocks that surround me, under this sky that turns and changes for an eternity, I am nothing, passing through, and then I'm gone. But for a short time, I can feel that I'm made of stardust. Just like you. So choose to be a force of nature. While you're granted with your place in this universe, choose to be unstoppable. Choose to be as relentless as the cold as the wind, as the sky. And never doubt what you're made of.